Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Fike and I'm a librarian with the Near North District School Board. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make coffee filter poppies just in time for Remembrance Day. These are a super easy craft and they only require a few supplies to make them. So to make these poppies, you will need two to three paper coffee filters, some black paint, some red paint, and a paintbrush. That's it, that's all you need. All right, so let's get started making these poppies. First thing you want to do is to start painting one of your coffee filters with red paint. We're going to make sure we cover the entire surface with the red paint and get into all the nooks and crannies. Don't worry about painting the backside because the paint actually shows through. We're going to do this with all three of your coffee filters and this will give us a nice red poppy. Once you're finished painting, set them aside to dry before moving on to the next step. Now that your coffee filters are dry, we get to move on to my favorite part, crunching them into little balls. Take each of your coffee filters and crunch it up into a tiny little ball. Crunch it up nice and tight so it's all crinkly. Then unfold it and move on to the next one. We're going to do this for all three and each time we're going to lay it on top of the one we crunched before. This is going to give us the nice petal shapes and the dimension for our flowers. After we're finished crunching our flowers, we're going to put them in a pile, pinch it in the middle from the behind, and give it a nice twist. This will make sure that our flower stays together. Turn it back over and fluff it up. You should now see your pretty poppy. The final step is to add a black center to your poppy. Grab your paintbrush with some black paint and just dab it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make it so that you're happy with it. And you're done. You now have a gorgeous poppy ready for Remembrance Day.